they shook hands before that notorious World Cup quarter-final, but never again afterwards, though the names of Diego Maradona and England goalkeeper Peter Shilton will forever be linked. And all because of a goal that should never have been allowed. The first and most important goal uh, was, was not because of Maradona's skill as a footballer, but uh, his ability to... Uh, deceive the referee and cheat. It was Diego Maradona's fist that knocked the ball past Shilton in Mexico's Azteca Stadium. I interviewed the goalkeeper immediately after that game and he was livid. It's blatantly obvious that the referee and linesman didn't do the job properly. I mean, Maradona's obviously not going to get the ball. He's taking a chance of punching it. How did you feel when you realised that the man hadn't given what appeared to be a blatant decision? How would you feel? <laughs> not very pleased. He fears the incident tarnishes the reputation of the best footballer he ever saw, but admits to carrying a sense of injustice for 34 years. Well, I, I've always said, because of the comments made after the match, um, you know, the hand of God, you know, he didn't really apologise to, to the England team or to me. I think it was quite a few years afterwards before he actually admitted to, to doing it. It did leave a sour taste for, for you know, for many years. In Shilton's eyes, Maradona was without equal as a footballer, but it's a shame he passed up several opportunities to apologise. No, it's a bit sad, really, that we, we couldn't meet and, and uh, put it to bed, really. Shilton and other members of England's 86 team say their thoughts are now with the family and the fans of the little magician, who've gathered outside the Casa Rosada Palace in Buenos Aires, where Maradona's body has been lying in state. Thousands filing past the coffin to say an emotional goodbye. With Argentina's president, Alberto Fernandez, placing the famous number 10 shirt that will always be associated with him. For old rivals, it's a time for forgiveness. Diego's uh, he's passed away and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's time to draw a line under it. A time to remember the magic and the outstanding talent of his generation. So special, even those on the receiving end couldn't help but admire. Paul Davis, ITV News.